this is the 3rd of October or second month of autumn or is it last month of autumn? November, uh, September, August, September, October last month of autumn next month will be winter so for this for the 3rd of October prairie garden still looking okay nothing is staked so nothing is tied up so as the flowers fade and the foliage starts to wither around you still get a bit, a bit of structure which gets you all the way through the winter now particularly uh, plants I'm particularly happy with are the Rebecca's the this one here the old standard Rebecca gold storm and around now or maybe a bit later squirrels come in and start removing uh, the seed heads which is it's sort of cute we don't mind we like it and this is aster munch which is also daisy uh, I would put it as one of the be best 10 perennial plants that you can plant in your garden that's aster munch m-o-n-c with two bits on top of it CH. It's a mountain in, in, in Switzerland and I think they were bred in the 1930s. It is sometimes hard to come by because it doesn't split well. But unlike normal asters, it doesn't get mildew and it doesn't run like mad. It doesn't get congested so you can just plant it more or less leave it alone. It's slightly open here. And that's probably because it's a little bit shady here. Some of It's a little bit shady. Very nice pink bark birch there. Plant it down. Um, and we have to, as I said, we have two daisy flowers here. And this is a persicaria, a very good plant for a front of a border. And I've noticed, I, I was always under the impression that it would like very dry conditions, but it seems to thrive better where when it's a bit wet. That's uh, persicaria affinae. Uh, it's very hard to beat. It's 3rd of October, we'll get at least another month out of it. And that's been going since, certainly since June. So June, July, August, September, October. Great value plan. I'm, I'm going to try and get into the border without wrecking stuff. We have a sanguisorba here, finished, but nice hangy down flowers. Japanese one. But I want to get one here this it's a golden rod solidago from America um, a few of them have naturalized in Britain and this is one called fireworks and funny enough it's a daisy it's the very same family as this daisy here but it's very different and what a, what is good about uh, these golden rods and you have to be careful some of them can be a bit rough and go a bit mad this one doesn't fireworks doesn't go mad it's the, it's the contrast it's a structural contrast and that's what it's used for as well as the grasses and the purpose of the grasses is because you just don't want the complete cacophony of color because that that can torture your eyes you want color and then sort of a, a bit more diffuseness and then a bit more color and it just looks better it's like your dinner, you don't have your dinner just with all steak, you have potatoes, you don't have all potatoes either, you, you, you mix your dinner up, or if you're a vegetarian you use the vegetarian equivalent for variety and contrast and that's what a garden is, variety and contrast and subtlety and a little bit over the top and a little bit restrained. Anyway that's me from my prairie garden and do this if you like the video.